Listen, I want to show y'all some ways in which you might not realize that you are still living in condemnation and also living in self-condemnation. All right now, a lot of you watching this right now, you, you might end up realizing as you watch this video that these things might pertain to you. This might resonate with you. So a lot of people are still living in condemnation, self-condemnation. They have feelings of, of depression. They have feelings of guilt, shame. They have feelings of discouragement, inadequacy, low self-esteem, low self-worth. They have feelings of insecurity, inferiority. Now, I had to identify these things myself, but I want y'all to identify, get in the presence of God and ask him, where do these feelings stem back from? Why do these emotions continue to circulate within my life? And a lot of you will realize that most people have these feelings because number one, a lot of us, we end up comparing ourselves to the rest of the world. We end up looking at social media, how people are living on social media. And we feel like if we're in our 20s and we don't already have these millions of dollars, that we, if we're not already driving a foreign car, if we don't have the things of the world that we're not doing good or that we won't be successful. And now society gives us a false expectation. And now you end up depressed, feeling inadequate. The people around you make you feel like you're nothing. You're not good enough. You're not man enough. If you don't have all these things right now, which also causes you to put these things as an idol instead of putting God as your idol. Are y'all with me? Another way that people end up feeling this way or another reason why people end up having these feelings or these emotions circulating in their lives is because of the failures and the mistakes that you might have made. How other people around you make you feel. You might have family members. You might have the mother or the father of your children, people that you love who are speaking negative things against you, who are constantly bringing up what you used to do, who you used to be, the mistakes and the failures that you've made. And especially if it's somebody that you love, if it's somebody that you love, a lot of times it hurts a lot more. Why? Because you love that person. So therefore you're going to care about what they think about you. So you're going to take to heart what they say about you. So even if you're no longer that person, a lot of times they still hold it against you and they have this unrealistic expectation of you. And they think that, oh, well, you need to spend your life making up for your mistakes. You need to live off of the expectation that I give you. Even if it's your parents. And a lot of times you'll realize when your parents were your age, they didn't even have it together. But they're trying to make you feel like if you don't have it together or if you're not successful right at this moment, that you're nothing. So these words, when you take them to heart, they discourage you. They make you feel inadequate, insecure, right? They make you feel inferior. They give you low self-esteem, low self, where you feel like you're not valuable. So their words are like a hook. And if you're feeling these emotions, they've still got you hooked. So God says, therefore, there is now no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, so you're punishing yourself for something that God is no longer punishing you for. So even though God says you now have the victory, you're still living in condemnation. You are still living for somebody else's satisfaction. You are still living off of the false expectation that somebody else has given you instead of walking in the victory that Christ has given you. So now you might not realize it, but you are now worshiping the demonic spirits, you are now worshiping the demonic emotions that somebody else has given you. So now you end up spending your life trying to be great. You, you spend your life, I'm gonna prove them wrong, this and that. But it's an impure motive. It's coming from a, blo a broken, uh, broken place. So if your motive is impure and it's coming from a broken place, guess what, God is not in that. You're spending your life trying to prove these people wrong, so you're worshiping their expectation of you. And God says, I'm not in that. That's why, you know, you're doing things your own way off of your own strength. You're exerting your own physical energy instead of doing things God's way. And that's why you feel drained and you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Are y'all with me? And so now because you're worshiping somebody else's expectation off of you. Because of these feelings that you have. These inadequate feelings that you have because of what the people around you said. These emotions are infiltrating your life, your heart, your soul, your mind. 
And therefore, because these emotions are circulating through you, you can't receive the love of God. Watch this. The Bible also says, who will bring any charge against you? This is Romans chapter 8, verses 33. Who will bring any charge against you whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who, condemn, who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. He's interceding for you. There's no one else that can justify. There's no one else who condemn you. Who can condemn you? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? For your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. He said nothing, trouble or, harsh or hardship or persecution shall separate you from the love of Christ. So the Bible says one thing. But you care so much about what people think about you, you're allowing them to keep you in that place. So you're still living in a place that God has now redeemed you from. And you're allowing these people and you're allowing these negative emotions circulating through your life to separate you from the love of Christ. Are y'all with me? And now, if you're not able to live up to the expectation of these people, if you say, I'm going to prove them wrong. Well, let's say you're not able to prove them wrong. At this moment of your life. Now, you did all that work just to try to prove them wrong. And you didn't meet that expectation. Now they still, they continue to reject you. How are you going to feel? You're going to feel even more condemned and more inadequate. And because you're living off that expectation and you fail, this also causes you to carry this false burden. You're carrying a false burden. So if you can't live up to that expectation, a lot of times what this does is it's going to cause you to self-sabotage. Well, I'm already inadequate. I'm already insecure, inferior. I'm nothing. I'm not valuable. I can't be successful. I can't do this. I can't. And you're going to end up. This is what makes people fall back into their addictions. This is what causes people to fall back into their old habits and old ways. Why? Because your motive was wrong. You have to understand that you are more than a conqueror. Nobody else can condemn you. Nobody else justifies you besides Jesus Christ. The Bible says we triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by word of our testimony. So stop living in the condemnation and living off of other people's expectation of you. And start living in God. You have to live in the victory. You have to accept where you are right now. Even if you're at the lowest point in your life and understand that God says, hey, you are accepted in the beloved. I love you where you're at right now. I am no longer condemning you. Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek my righteousness and everything else will be added to you over time. But not for the motive of proving other people wrong, but for the motive of loving me and living out my will for your life. Come on here, somebody. Listen, there is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Stop living off of other people's expectations because it's going to allow those negative emotions to, to, uh, to continue to circulate in your mind, your will, and your emotions, which is going to keep you in that place of condemnation. Amen. I love y'all and God bless. You're more than a conqueror.